What's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and thank God it is Friday. I hope everyone's having a good day and I hope all you guys are ready for the weekend. Uh, guys, I got a really cool video for you today. Now I'm gonna do, I'm actually starting a new series on the channel. Uh, so I haven't made any sort of video like this. As you can see by the title, I have five solo glitches for you guys to do by yourselves. You can also do this with a friend if you guys want to, but you don't need a friend. But uh, yeah, man, if you guys got some friends and you want to screw around, you know, if you're not doing money glitches, if you're not doing, you know, anything like that, go ahead and do the stuff you see in this video. This is for the people that just want to go ahead and have fun in GTA, but still are addicted to glitches just like I am. All right. <laughs> I'm addicted to them. I love glitches in any form or fashion that I can do them. So even if I'm not making money off of them, especially me, since I don't really need the money in this game anymore. I do this, alright guys, so I want to start making a new series and this is the beginning of it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So for this first glitch, I, uh, we have a launch glitch, alright? You want to go to this location right here, alright? And I, this is an old one. I know a lot of people have seen it, but a lot of people do it the wrong way. When I was first taught this, it never worked for me because I was just shooting at the wrong thing. But uh, what you're going to need here is a shotgun first just to blow up those tables. And then you want to go ahead and shoot the uh, the top of the umbrella, or the bottom, I guess, of the umbrella just to knock it over like that. And now you want to get out your flare gun, all right? And the flare gun is what's going to help us launch, okay? So here we go. You want to just aim so that you can kind of, you know, walk, nor uh, you know, really precisely. Get to the corner of the umbrella and now aim right up to the pole, all right? The tip of that fucking pole right there, all right? So <laughs> aim at it and then just shoot. And when you shoot, check this out. Boom. <laughs> You'll launch straight up in the air. And you actually launch a pretty good distance, I'm not going to lie. This is probably the easiest uh, solo launch glitch there is in the game. A lot of people used to shoot the corner of the umbrella. I never had luck shooting the corner of the umbrella, so I shoot the tip of that pole. And check it out, my friend's doing it. You don't even see the umbrella when your friend is actually doing that. But check it out, you're, you're going to see him flying everything. He's about to shoot it right now himself. So watch him go, and here we go, here we go, here we go. He's aiming, boom. <laughs> and he just shoots up, guys. And you can aim it to wherever you want. And don't worry about falling either. You don't even need to take your parachute out. With these launch glitches, uh, when you go up, you're not going to die. You just straight fall down and you just hit the ground, all right? It's a really fun glitch to do. I'm going to show you guys one more time. Get your shotgun out. I recommend one with a silencer so you don't attract too much attention so the cops don't come. Uh, shoot the umbrella right off of its uh, platform right there. Take out your flare gun. Aim. Stand right in the corner exactly where I am. And uh, I want to go on this corner because I want to go, you know, the other way, not into the water over there. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot the top of that pole. And there we go. You can actually move and stuff while you're running and check it out. Boom, I fall. I barely lose any health, all right? You're not going to really die from those falls. Uh, you're just in a glitched out state when you're falling like that. So the game doesn't really detect that you're actually falling. So uh, yeah, that was uh, the first glitch. Just a fun solo launch glitch that you can do with friends. For this next glitch, it's actually a combat one. But first you want to go over to the start menu, go to settings, go to camera. And now you want to set the first person combat role to off. All right, once you've set it to off, you will finally be able to do this. Check it out. Go into first person, so press your select button or whatever it is for first person on your controller. Roll and check it out. You see, when, you, when I press X to roll, it goes into third person and then goes back to first person after the roll. This is what you're going to be doing. On Xbox, I know the buttons, PlayStation, you guys, basically, this is what we're doing. We're holding left trigger, or we're, we press left trigger, right trigger, and X uh, all at the same time. It's like one after another, but they're all very close, so it's almost at the same time. And you saw how his gun was shaking there? That's what you want to see. Your gun kind of spazzes out, and I'm going to show you from my view what it looks like. So I'm pressing left trigger, right trigger, and X almost all at the same time. Look at that. My gun just spasms and shakes, and it actually does shoot. And I'm going to show you. I actually hit my friend. You can do this. Uh, all you tryhards out there, you guys can actually use this as well. It's a pretty cool glitch. If you get used to it and you get good at it, you can, you can be badass with this. So watch this right here. Slow motion. Doing it. Bang! Gun shakes. Look at the gun just spazzing out like that. And then I reload, ready to go. And I'm going to show you some more clips of me actually hitting this so it's not just random. All right, you do this with your friend long enough, both of us were moving, I was able to get him. You kind of want to aim the center of the screen over at him. So you saw the gun shook again. Remember, left trigger, right trigger, X. On PlayStation, you guys are basically, it's your aim, your fire, and your roll. That's, that's, those are the, uh, the controls that you're going to be hitting, all right? Aim, fire, roll, almost all instantaneously, all right? One after another, but almost at the same time. And boom, check it out. I got him again. You see, it's not very random whatsoever, guys. You can do this, and you can get really, 
really good at it. I'm telling you, it is a badass trick. Here is another one. We were inside a wall breach. I'll show you guys this wall breach maybe in, a, in another video, not in this one. But guys, I got plenty of wall breaches, all right? That's why I want to start making videos like this. Uh, plenty of glitches, you know? I, I love glitches, so here we go. Just one more shot. Look at that, I barely missed him. This one isn't so impressive. He was kind of just standing there. I think he goes to reload now, and I'm like, oh, that's it, done. Bam, <laughs> got him again. So that's just a really neat combat glitch that you guys can do. I never knew about it. Shout out to my friend BMX here. He actually taught me this trick while I was recording uh, footage for this video. So shout out to him for even teaching me that. I had no idea, so I wanted to include it. But as you saw on the map right there, that's the location we want to go to. And this is a new wall breach that I found, actually. I found this. I didn't look it up or anything like that. I actually found this wall breach myself. And you see, I had to position two cars just like that. And most trees around the map you can actually go into, but this one was a bit different. I kept falling out the other side and I was like, no, I know I can get in here. There has to be like, you know, I can, I can kind of put some cars against it and maybe chill in there, you know, maybe get uh, wedged in. And check it out, right there I got lucky and bam, I was able to actually get in there because the car was right there and it kind of stopped me. So go ahead and go into first person once you're glitched in the tree. And on all these you can just walk out, but check it out. This is a semi-god mode tree and I'm going to show you why I call it semi-god mode. Check this out. I'm gonna take my RPG out and I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot these cars out of the way, shoot the ground around me. I'm gonna show you guys, watch this. Bang. Oh, there we go, bang. <laughs> but yeah, so I didn't die, nothing like that. All right, and I shot the RPG right next to me. This is uh, in the same session, we're still screwing around here. I got, you know, some more cars wedged in there and then look at that. Nothing, all right? Uh, and also, RP glitch, guys. You can shoot through this. And uh, the reason it's also an RP glitch is because you can attract cops by doing all this. And look at that, shooting myself. And then you can actually still get the, uh, the, the RP for that. So I shot the ground. I'm shooting the ground right next to me so that you can see. If you, as long as you shoot right outside the tree, you're fine. You are in semi-god mode. And now I told BMX over here to come shoot at me. And look at that. He's shooting the tree with bullets. None of them penetrate at all. So imagine if you go off the radar here you get a bounty on yourself you can do some cool stuff uh you know bullets obviously do not affect whatsoever as you can see right here i told him just go ahead keep shooting keep shooting and then he actually asked me what about if i take an rpg out and i said go ahead take an rpg out see what'll happen or take you know an explosive out just go ahead and shoot a rocket at me and look at that he he did that and i am still alive he shot a rocket right at the tree and i'm still alive so this is a semi god mode I just got RP right there if you didn't notice, 400 RP for getting all those stars, so it is an RP glitch as well. Attract the cops to you and you can chill in there the whole time. Cops cannot get you in there whatsoever. Alright, so here we go. Here, as you saw on the map, this is another wall breach. Some of you might know this, some of you might not, but this is a wall breach and an under the map glitch uh, 2 in 1. And I wanted uh, BMX right here to actually show you guys that it isn't God mode, so you can still get shot here if somebody knows exactly where you are. But this is a really cool wall breach that you guys can take advantage of, say if you guys really need to escape real quick, because it's right down the street from Arcadius and Maze Bank Tower. So if you guys like, you know, you got some people after you and you know about this glitch, go ahead and hop in here and just go down the map and then you can escape and go wherever you want basically as long as you got a parachute. So check it out, you fall under the map right here, you can take out your parachute as I'm gonna do right about now, and then now that I got my parachute, you can glide anywhere you want under the map. So if you're being chased, man, if you got a bounty on you and you got some, you know, a-holes just literally following you around the map trying to get that bounty, or maybe if you just wanna screw with people and you wanna put a bounty on yourself no matter, what, you know, have a friend put a bounty on you, uh, you can do this. And you see, if you let go of the parachute, um, you know, you'll just spawn right back up on the, uh, on the street. So that's just another uh, wall breach right there. I believe that was the third glitch I've showed you guys, or fourth glitch, I'm not sure. I think it was the fourth glitch, actually, yeah. Okay, so now this is just neat. If you got a Sanctus, check this out. You can actually just wall ride right up a building. This thing has so much torque, you can wall ride up certain buildings. So that was just a neat little thing that's not part of the video of the glitches. I just wanted to show you guys that. But this is an actual launch glitch also right across the street from that wall breach check this out all right so go ahead and pop a wheelie hit that part right there and look at that i launched straight up in the air really really cool as i said with launch glitches uh you know previously you don't have to take your parachute out i was just showing my friend that you can use a sanctus you can use a, a baddie 801 i recommend the baddies check this out i hit it again and perfect launched up this time i'm not going to take my parachute out and i'm going to show you normally that fall would kill you i don't even have a lot of health and boom it didn't take any health from me whatsoever, and I'm still good. So launch glitches like that, you're good. And check this out, when we were screwing around here, he actually found a way to just teleport over onto my bike. 
that was just a quick little teleport glitch that he just did but uh yeah you can also do cool things like this look at that you can wall ride up there pretty high i'm not gonna lie if you hit it at a certain angle this little spot is really cool man you, we spent like an hour just doing this glitch right here and look at this i even get higher on this one i almost hit the top of the building i almost wall ride all the way up with a freaking batty 801 so you can do some really cool stuff with this guys but uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, my name is Roll Easy. Tell me what you thought about it. Uh, make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on the post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.